Welcome back to another Excel template from Inzara.com. This time we'll be looking at how to create activity pattern heat maps in Excel. Such activity pattern heat maps could be used for scenarios such as in a call center where you want to understand the call traffic patterns. What times of the day you get the most number of calls and what times of the day you get the least and what times during a month you get the most and the least. And so essentially understanding the call traffic pattern and similarly um, support support requests that are coming into a contact center where you are running a business supporting and providing customer service to your clients and you get support tickets sent to you by email and if you want to understand what times of the day are you getting the most number of support requests then you can use this template to visualize it um, if you're running a website where you want to understand the traffic patterns to your website that would be also another scenario visualization of such activity patterns help you make very sound decisions such as when to hire more staff for your call center um, so that you are staffed correctly for the times of the month or times of the day or times of the year where you expect the increased call activity versus the reduced call activity. Similarly when you're running a website if you understand what times of the day you get the least website traffic then you can schedule your maintenance windows around those times of the day. This could be expanded to a lot of other scenarios where you want to understand the traffic pattern on specific activity then you can use this Excel template. So now I have the template open and when you open this is what you'll see and the visualization don't make any sense at this point because we haven't entered any data. This specific column activity date time is where you will be entering the data and this is the only data input that you have to provide to this template and the green colored columns here these are calculations using formulas so please don't modify them all you have to do is to enter your act activities here and then automatically the visualizations will update so I am going to use another file where I have some date times where my activities happened and I'm gonna copy come over here right click in the cell A9 it's very important that you do here right click paste special values so now what happens is all these other columns here get automatically updated with the formulas so you don't have to worry about that the visualizations on the right also got updated so the first thing here you will see that you've entered data beginning from 2014 January 1st 2014 December 31st that is just the minimum and the maximum of the dates that we have entered in this column right now and this is important because if you have incomplete um, days or incomplete months um, then what happens is your visualization might be misleading because if you're missing parts of the data then uh, it's very important that you recognize it and interpret the data accordingly so please watch out for incomplete data make sure your data is complete before you visualize and take decisions based on that so the first visualization here is by month and day the top this row here indicates the activities by month so you can see that July has the lowest 57 and January has the highest 68 this is the number of activities or count of activities that happened in each of these months and this is based on the data that we have entered here I have in this case entered all the data for 2014 and only 2014 so what happens is this is a complete year and I can see the seasonality or the pattern by month and I'm using the default you know conditional formatting graded color scale where the darkest red would be the lowest value and the darkest green would be the highest value and yellow would be at the midpoint this is actually the day of the month so 1 to 31 and in months like April June um, you will only have 30 days so there's white cells there but otherwise the heat map represents the count of activities that happened specifically on each day so January 1st we had one activity July 9th we had five activities so very quickly we can understand which days of a month and which days you know in an entire year you're actually getting the most and the least amount of traffic and I'm using really random data here so it doesn't really 
this is not really telling a story. But if you have actual data from call centers, actually that would be uh, much more powerful and it'll illustrate the concept much better. Now, the right one is actually by the hour of the day, so from 0 to 23. So this is the hour of day. So for example, 8, this would be, so between 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock in the morning on Mondays, how many activities happened? And then on Tuesdays, between 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock in the morning, how many activities happened? So if you want to understand only one week's worth of data or only one month's worth of data, just only enter that specific month or weeks data in this column and then your visualizations could be used to interpret that specific narrow set of data. So this could be used to understand what hours of the day and which weekdays you get the most and the least traffic and this will help you to make decisions around staffing and you know in the case of a website you can plan your downtimes accordingly. So it's a very simple Excel template um, I do believe that this can be expanded and um, covering more common scenarios. So I really look forward to your feedback on whether you find this template useful. And also, if you have other scenarios that you would like to expand this template further, please let me know. I'll be very happy to continue to work on these and make it more useful to a lot more people. Thank you very much for watching the video.